Assalamu alaikum to all of you. This is Shah Nawaz Rustamani and I welcome to all of you at my channel Knowledge for All Seekers. I hope that you all are fine wherever you are. And from today we are going to start our training about Koha Library Integrated Management System. And this is very important software and very useful software worldwide it is used in many countries of the world and this software is actually designed or made by New Zealand so today we will going to start our training about Koa software okay so before doing anything in Koa First of all, you must have to first work in Koha, you have to do to make your library, okay? In Koha, after downloading and installation, first of all, you have to make your library in which you will work, okay? So, today we will learn that how to create, how to make library in Koha softwares, okay? So, today's first lecture about Koha. So first of all, we will make library, okay? And next step, in next video, we will do next step. What we have to do in next, we will do in next video, okay? So we will uh, learn Koa step by step from very beginning, okay? So we have, we have not started from installation and downloading because we will learn downloading and installation in very last, okay? In last lecture because it is a very lengthy process and so today we will start our first lecture and first step after downloading and installation what we have to do we have to make our library okay so today we are going to make our library so this is a interface of koha okay this is a your co, uh, admin interface of Koha software. So for creating library, you have to go in your administration module. Okay. You have to go in Koha administration module. Just click on this module. See here, there are different types of options available for us. There are different type of uh, uh, commands you can also say that available for us. But we are going to create our library because we have just downloading and installed. So that's why we are going to create our library. So for creating our, our library, we have to go in this thing, basic parameters and libraries. Okay. For creating libraries, we have to go in first administration and then we have to click on libraries. So just click on libraries. See here, we have already made these libraries, but we are going to create our new library. So that's why we have to create, we have to click on new library. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. We have to click on new library. So click on new library first. It's very easy, not uh, difficult. Just you have to be little bit computer literate. Okay. So now this is library code. Okay. We have to define our library code, which code we are defining. For example, we are going to create a library of uh, uh, we are giving name libraries so first of all we will name our library okay for example we are naming it national library of pakistan for example we are just making as an example okay we are making this library as an example so we are going to give code of this library for example national library of Pakistan is our name so we are going to give it 
NAT, okay? NAT, first three letters of national, okay? So we will give this name as identification, okay? So this is how we can give code, library code and name of library. We have created library of this name, okay? We are going to create it, create library of this name. So we have given code and we have given name also, okay? So if you want the, to fill these uh, um, fields, you can also fill, you can put here your address of your library, okay? If another library is branch is available then give another address your city you can give your city name okay your state you can give a state name your zip code or you can say postal code you will give here postal code your country which is your country give your country name phone number fax if you have email then write email also email of library not your email of library so give here okay so you can fill these all fields but these are not necessary these are optional okay these are optional not necessary necessary are these which are in red color okay which are in red color these are necessary things we must have to write here okay so these are the compulsory things we have to write and these are the optional if you want to write you can write if you don't want to write, leave it. Okay. So, scroll down and write, uh, click on submit. Okay. Click on submit. So, see here our library is now created. Where it is? library added these are the oh, total number are 28 okay so this is only showing 1 to 10 so click on next okay see here our library is now created okay national library of pakistan on number 22 21 to 28 are uh, showing so our library is now created see here okay if you want to add it anything you can add for example if you want to add it anything in this you can write here introduction of your library as well if you want otherwise you don't have to write anything but if you want to write introduction or something else you can write here okay and if you want to edit these fields you can also add okay so just submit it so it that is how we can create our library in koa software this is very easy not a difficult it's very easy that's how we can create our library in Coa software just simple steps are there just go in home first of all go in administration module and then go in libraries and then click on new library write your code see again write your code any code you want and write your name if you want to fill these things also you can just fill this these things so if you want to write address city state zip code or anything you want to write you can write in these fields and if you want to write any introduction about this library you can write also and then you have to submit it okay very simple just you have to practice it see here library updated is successfully okay where your library is created see here it's not showing here because these are only showing 1 to 10 out of 28 libraries i have created 28 libraries so it is not showing here just click on this thing next 
again next and this is your library which you have created okay so after that then you have to log in in your library okay it's very simple you can make your own library also wherever you are working in which organization you are working you can create your own library okay so i hope that you have understand that how can we create our library in koha software it's very simple not a difficult just you have to practice a little bit and in next lecture we will learn that how can we make our patron category okay how can we make a make our patron category or in simple words you can say that how can we do membership okay in koha we will say patron in simple words we can say members okay members are patrons in koha software so how can we make patron category and how can we make patrons so we will learn in next video so this was our first lecture this was our first thing to do after downloading and installation of our software koha so first of all we have to create our library so we have created in this lecture so in next lecture we will learn patron category and patrons also okay so till i hope that you have understand very much if you have not understand anything you can ask me in comments also and if you have like this video you can share it with your friends and also tell me how you read this video okay and if you have not subscribe my channel so subscribe it and also share it with your friends so till next lecture it's goodbye from me allah face